Hello and welcome. Today you're going to just see me lightly begin to colour in with my watercolours a very light layer. All I'm going to be doing is adding a soft hue to the background of the card. Now I showed you this in my Facebook group recently and basically I wanted to highlight to you that one of my cards I've created has a black and white drawing and this is the black and white drawing and all I'm going to do today is gently add some colour and what I'm trying to show here is that if you can try and keep your brush stroke light and soft it stops that mark so if you get that mark the gathering of water tap it on your your little piece of towel and just wipe it away like I've got some there unless of course you want it as more of a shadow but initially I want to add a very light tone so I'm going very gently with my brush so that I can just get a gentle likeness of a colour of wood going through the design. Now don't be surprised when you're finished that it will still look rather flat but that's when the next layers come in so I'm sticking with the one colour for the moment so that I don't mix too many colours together and make my brush grubby. Now of course you can turn your piece of card around or your drawing around and feel more comfortable by positioning the paper so that you can paint more freely. You see how light that's going on? Now here is quite deep so I'm going to gently agitate it with a tap of water. And see if it pulls up. Now this card is not watercolour card so it's not going to generate the same and the gouache I'm using today isn't the watercolour that I usually use. Um, it is a brand new set from Caran de Ache and I am experimenting with these main five palette colours. So you've got like an, a beautiful cerulean type blue, a lovely crimson red a deeper blue, a lovely sap green and a little grubby yellow and that's because I mixed it on the palette and I should have mixed it on my actual palette plate which I have beside me so I do apologise for that. So we've got green on my brush at the moment and I want to just delicately add it and on this occasion I don't mind if it mounts a little bit so do you see what we're doing? We're just literally going in very soft and very fine using the tip of a round brush. Now this round brush actually came with the set and I like to keep my brushes separate from my watercolours. A 
wanted a bit of a hue there so I've let that happen. Now this time I'm going to show you how little I used of that palette. You saw that and I've placed it on my side palette so I can just let it rest. And it doesn't need any extra water but it's got an awful lot in there. So I'm going to just tap it where I want it. Slide the brush stroke where I want it. Now over here it's very fine so I'm lifting my brush so I don't go over. Now gouache is a little bit more opaque so when you want something lighter you need to go into it while you're doing it I find it's much easier to get a blend from light to dark you can see I've pushed the pigment down it looks so soft and that's how I continue with my watercolouring <laughs> 